Africa. So talking about the whole uh, uh, consistency and foundation, you have something called the four pillars of marketing, yep. which is pretty much your the backbone of everything. Mm -hmm. Mindset's another kind of thing that, that underscores everything. But talk to us a little bit about your four pillars of marketing, which there's a lot more in his book about it. But give us your... Well, the, the way to... I mean, this is something that I... Came, I, I was able to kind of pull together in 2008. But if you think about it, patients can only come to you from one of four places. They can come to you from the internet. And of course, we all know how important that is. Uh, today, you know, in 2007, doctors were like, uh, do I need a website? But, you know, life is very different now. Sure. Um, the second place they can come to you is from medical or non-medical referral sources around you. The third place is from your own list of patients, your database. And the last one is from things you might do out in the community, which, you know, we used to call marketing, which could be advertising, you know, God forbid, newspapers, just all the things that people used to do. Um, and so if there's you only- call that shoe leather marketing. Well, that's external marketing. Oh, okay. That, shoe right, leather marketing is pillar number two. Okay. So, so pillar number one is is internet mm -hmm. marketing. Pillar number two, I call shoe leather marketing, which is someone, not you doctor, unless you're brand new in practice, goes out and actually sees people. It's face to face, eyeball to eyeball. It's nurturing those relationships. And most, most practices don't do that because they don't like it. They, everybody starts out that way. They walk around and say hello to everyone. But then they get busy and they think, I don't have to do that anymore. But those, But there's nothing like the value of continually supporting and nurturing that relationship. The third one is the most important one. It's your your list. It's the number, it's the people who know you like you trust you. So that's your active patients, inactive patients, really inactive patients, people that have requested information from you, anyone in your database. And and understanding that you know you can't just say, oh I sent an email about that one time. Like let's take heel pain, which is a very um, interesting and uh, uh, it's a it's a favored Podiatrists love to do work on people that have heel pain, and uh, so I sent an email out about that, like you know, last year. I mean, it just—it's a constant, recurring. You have to stay with and nurture that relationship, and let people know you're here and you care without bugging them. And then the last one, like I said, is things you might do out in the community that are advertising related. But if you don't have your website set up right, and you don't have your referring relationships in your database set up, don't even bother. Mm -hmm.